All right, in this uh, uh, video, I'm going to work a simple machine wedge problem. All right, so I'm just planning on working one on this one. Uh, your worksheet only has two problems on it. Uh, you've been working so many IMA and AMA problems that uh, I really think you're going to get it from the one. But if you need me to do more, let me know, and um, I'll pick out another one and work it and get it up here. All right, so it says, what is the IMA of this wedge? All right, so IMA equals distance of our effort over distance of our resistance. In this case, the distance of our effort is always that length. All right, and, and I don't know if you've kind of noticed in some of the problems, but we're usually looking for a positive mechanical advantage, uh, anything greater than one. Uh, so more than likely it's going to be the longest distance. I know there are some instances like the third class lever or if the axle is driving the wheel, uh, but most of the time uh, whenever you're reading one of these problems you're really looking for the greater number uh, for your distance. You know, if you check that and you realize it's not uh, right in that particular problem you know, it's, it's kind of a rare problem whenever it comes up to be a mechanical advantage less than one, other than unless it's a third class lever. Okay, so then the other distance here, this T, is our distance resistance. Okay, that's the thickness, and, and that's the distance that uh, the, whatever you're splitting, you're moving apart, that's the maximum distance that you could split it apart, right? And this is the maximum distance that you could actually add effort is this to this 11, and the maximum distance that resistance can split apart is 5, which is T. Uh, so I have 11.0 inches over 5.0 inches, and that equals 2.2. Inches cancel out, so I won't have a, a unit. All right, so the next part of the problem says, if a 335 pound effort force uh, resulting or resulted in a 637 pound lateral force, calculate the AMA. So AMA equals force of our resistance over force of our effort. And all of these problems have had the same AMA. Uh, the same way to work an AMA. The IMA is really the only thing that's changing with each of the simple machines. Uh, just figuring out where those distances come from is really the only difference in each of these problems that we've been working in the different categories. But AMA has been the same. It gives us the effort force. It gives us the resistance force, or you're trying to find one of the others. So force of our resistance is 637 pounds and force of our effort is 335 pounds. As it says, 335 pounds of effort force. So that would be effort. And then for lateral force, it's talking about the distance here. All right, uh, so calculate the AMA. So I plug it in and it's 600 and 37 divided by 335. And again, if you'll notice, the one on top, um, almost all of the problems, except for those exceptions I already talked about, uh, the number on top is going to be the bigger one. So that's really the one you need to look at first and decide, is this my resistance uh, force? All right, so it's 1.90. And again, no unit because uh, my pounds cancel out. Okay, so then if I want to know the efficiency of this wedge, um, I would say percent efficiency equals AMA over IMA times 100. All right, so my AMA was 1.90 and my IMA was 2.2 times 100. So 1.9 divided by 2.2 times 100 equals 86%. Hey, 
like I said at the beginning, if you need me to work another one, um, let me know or let your teacher know. And I will uh, work another one and get it on to Blackboard for you.